Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, The Wealthy Mindset. It's yours truly, Money Making Mitch. And as usual guys, this is not financial advice. Please do your own due diligence and research. I'm breaking a record today with the amount of videos I'm doing, but William Lee is the, the one to blame. It's his fault <laughs> because we keep getting awesome news. So let's start off with NEO is trading at $7.88 at the time of this recording. It's up 50 cents. I wonder why. <laughs> so the 52 week low is $7. The 52 week high is $16.18. As a disclaimer, I hold 2,260 shares at $3.53. And on the SoFi platform, I hold another 401 shares at $8.99. Before I get into the video, I wanna give a little shout out. Um, one of my subscribers said that battery swap, once used, it is hard to go back to charging. And I spoke about that in the past. It's kind of like having a Cirrus XM. When you buy a new car in America, you most of the time you get that. And then when you when the subscription run out and you have to subscribe to it, you're feeling like a crackhead. You want it, so you go back and you get it. It's the same as badge as a service. Instead of waiting to charge your car for 15, excuse me guys, to sub, supercharge your car 15 minutes and degradate your battery, and have to wait in the cold or the hot, you pull in, you swap and you go. It's addictive, my man. All right, Notary, one of my subscribers, his name is Notary. He says, Hung Shi was the car that Xi Jinping bought to San Francisco and that's the car that Biden was impressed by. And I didn't realize that till he said it, he's right. That is, and I said it that that's the, Right, that's the company that Neo is, that's gonna adopt batteries swap. And I said they are high end, but I didn't realize how high end until he said that. The car that Xi Jinping rode in, that's a special car that they made for him that's bulletproof and even withstands chemical attack. So you know that this company is high end. So thank you, notary, that's amazing. Neo San Francisco said the Model 3 moment, Mark, uh, that's our Model 3 moment. Now, what he's referring to is, like what I said, Tesla was going bankrupt and the Model 3 made them survive. We're not going bankrupt, but what he means is this is going to take us to profitability, right? <laughs> the battery as a service, my man, where all these companies now, not just Hongxi, but William Lee said five more companies are lined up and he's opening it up to the world now, to all companies that wanna jump in. This is our Model 3 moment, meaning this is gonna take us to profitability. We're not gonna to have to wait for our cheaper model coming out next year. I believe that too. It's beautiful and the trolls are coming out and I'm loving it. So <laughs> Mark Wasak uh, says more changes than any other EV company in China. More charging station, sorry. And he's right, and I'm about to report on that, thanks to him. Uh, and I wanna say this, Polestar recently adopted Tesla charging stations in China, even though NIO has more charging stations than any other EV company in China. You wanna know why Polestar stock is so cheap, right? <laughs> now, co-founder, uh, Keen Li Hong recently just said the company sees significant delivery growth. But the Western media spins that in a different way. He says, despite market manipulation, remember I talk about that and everyone wants, oh, well, Neo, their deliveries is not the way you have shut your mouth. The deliveries, we're delivering more car at this time than Tesla did at that same period in their growth trajectory. Shut your mouth. Now guys, now that I'm routed up, Neo reaches over 20,000 chargers and 2,110 swap stations in China. You heard that right. About 80% of the power supplied by Neo chargers is used by other brands or EVs. And you wanna know how we are gonna be profitable? And people just focusing on the delivery numbers? Okay. 
with BYD models using 19.4% and Tesla using 12.3% of our chargers. You heard that right. We don't need to use theirs. They need to use ours. Who do you think is going to make in that, be making that bread? Me. That's who. NIO has reached more than 20,000 charging piles in China, making it the automotive brand with the most chargers in the country. The company announced today on its mobile app. These charging piles cover 306 cities in China, providing a cumulative total of 29 million charging services and reducing, this is the, the beautiful part, reducing carbon equivalent, according to the company, emissions by 419,959 tons. Remember, William Lee Vision, when he saw the smog and he had little children, he said, we have to change this. That was the man vision. Is he doing that? I think he is. Neo's charging facilities include high-speed superchargers as well as destination chargers with slower charging speeds. As of today, the company has 1,957 supercharging stations in China providing 9,191 charging piles as well as 1,450 destination charging stations providing 10,872 charging piles. Neo charging piles are open to all brands of electric vehicles models and about 80% of the power provided is used by other brands of EVs according to the company. Isn't it a beautiful thing? But the trolls only talk about the delivery numbers because they crap in their pants. They want to pull you down in the barrel with them. If you don't believe in the company, I keep telling them, Go elsewhere, go on other channels, but that's not their goal. Their goal is to drag you with them. They're demonic figures that stay in the shadows. They stay poor and they die poor for a reason. It's because of that sick culture that they were raised with. BYD models use 19.4% of the power provided by NEO charging piles. Second only to NEO models. That's why I say, I believe BYD is also going to adopt our battery as a service and our battery swapping stations. Let's see if I'm right on that, guys. Put in the comment what you think. Am I right on that? NEO no longer continues to lose money on its charging business. It's no longer losing money on its charging business. And guess what's going to happen now to our battery swap business? We're no longer going to be losing money on that. We're going to be a profitable company. We're going to be making that bread. This is what William Lee, the founder, chairman, and CEO said in September 21st, NEO 2023 Innovation Day event. In addition to charging piles, the number of NEO signature battery swap stations continues to grow. NEO has 2,110 battery swap stations. I'm not going into the whole article, but I want you guys to understand this. Remember all of us were saying this? Once we build out our battery swap network and our charging station networks, we will dominate the industry because right now all these cheap brands are selling cars, selling cheap EVs, inferior products, more, more EVs than us. We're selling high end and we captured 60% of the market. What do you think is going to happen when all these other EV guys that are buying other EVs from other companies realize, wait a minute, I'm using their battery swap stations, I'm using their chargers, why don't I just buy their EV next time? And people who haven't yet bought an EV, guess who are they going to be buying? I hope you guys found this video informational, but more so inspirational. If you did, guys, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you haven't yet subscribed, you might want to think about doing so because in this channel, we have a tribe with that warrior mentality where we get rich or we die trying, guys.